Hey guys, how's it going? This is Alex, and today we're going to be talking about movies. And by movies, I mean Baz Luhrmann's 2001 hit, Moulin Rouge. More specifically, the opening scene where the main characters visit the Moulin Rouge for the very first time. With the scene, I'm going to be picking it apart and looking at the editing that it was composed of. So, to do this, let's take a look at the scene in question. Okay, one of the first things that pop into my mind with the scene is jump cuts. The scene takes use of the split second shots of the can can dancers and the patrons that it showcases the erratic and fast paced life that the club handles. Near the end of the scene, in part that I didn't technically show you, the master of ceremonies Harold Zidler does a superhuman dive from the outside of the club back down to the stage where he then silences the crowd and signals the pace of the music to increase. With this, the scene cuts continue to get faster and faster, having what feels like three shots per second. Another thing that comes to mind with this is the distinct and vibrant colors that appear throughout the scene in the various mediums, like the dresses, the building itself, or the contrast with the bleak and dreary world that surrounds it. Uh, in the movie, whenever there's a scene that happens outside of the club, the color is always very gray and kind of unsaturated. But in the club, the color just pops. It's very bright. Uh, this shows the vibrancy and the excitingness of the Moulin Rouge compared to the struggles and the bleakness of the world around it, which kind of fits with the time setting of the movie. So this scene, let alone this movie, is chocked full of so many editing techniques, a lot more than I alone could even talk about. Unfortunately, I'll have to cut this video short, so I can't really delve into them. So once again, this is Alex, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye bye